All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The Apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. You know how in 10 years we're gonna look back at this era, at this day, at this video, and be like, wow, when, when, remember, remember when robots didn't take over and weren't everywhere? This is the beginning. I mean, it's not the beginning. I don't think it's the right way to look at this kind of thing. We've seen bipedal robots and the like better and better and better over the years. But once these robots are combined with modern AI like ChatGPT and they talk in such a real way, it's a leap. It's it's the next step. It's freaky. Very exciting. I'm pretty psyched because it's just so cool. It's such cool stuff, but it's change is scary, you know? So recently OpenAI unveiled figure, which is their actual walking, talking robot. Recently is a bad way to put this. Their first video was a year ago. And it's this teaser. It's lovely. Look, it's, you know, it's it's an animation. That's fine. But five months ago, we got to see the real deal. We have this shiny chrome robot. Oh, look at the, the fingies. Look at these fingies. But they're covered in rubber, obviously for grip and to not be hard metal stabbies. Ooh, look at that body move though. Dang, <laughs> it's so funny seeing robots walk, right? Like it's the uncanny valley is so there. It's going to take it's, that. I don't think people are ready for that. I don't think people are ready for the how quickly or how long it's going to take, in my opinion, to get away from the uncanny valley. Maybe not. Everything's moving so fast. It's uncanny, right? Like, like, look when I speed this up. That's it's that's it's unsettling. Ay. Like even first watching this, I, it makes me think it's an animation, right? Like your brain almost wants to think that. Oh, this is just an it's an animation, right? I mean, this is real. This is the this is it. It's not like we have seen bipedal robots before from like Boston, Boston Robotics and, and the like, but like, that was called Boston Dynamics. That's right. <laughs> but it's still such a thing. Like just to think in our lifetime, these will be everywhere, right? Like, like way sooner than, than you think. Following that video, we got this one, dynamic walking. I like to think I'm a dynamic walker myself. I stomp around. I'm so real. I walk like a real person. I make YouTube videos just like a real human. Realistically, this video is just kind of the not teaser, right? Even though all we get extra is a turn and a walk. I do love the description. Our goal is to develop a robot that moves through the world in a natural human-like way. Look how natural I am. That's all fun and good. We've seen that kind of stuff before. I, you know, it's, it's cool. Let's get freaky with it. Three months after that video, we get this. Making coffee. Person enters, sets down coffee machine. Hold on, making coffee? And you're using a Keurig machine? Eh, mm -mm. Nah, like, at least do a French press, you know? Like, I mean, if I'm gonna buy a $100,000 robot, I could press the Keurig button. I could spat everywhere. I could press it the night before. Also, can we talk about just how, how these interactions go, right? Like the fact that like, oh, this is the take we go with. We're gonna use this one. Hey, figure one, can you make me a cup of coffee? You know, it's a bunch of nerds, right? I'm a nerd. I'm allowed to say it, okay? That's our word. These are nerds, you know? Like, they've done this a million times too, right? Like, it's, there's no hamming it up. I, on one hand, I appreciate that, but it's just funny to me. Like, Brian, a little more lively next time. But he asks it, stands there for a second. Brian, you gotta get out of the shot. <laughs> such speed, such ferocity. Trying to make yourself a coffee on January 1st. Uh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Press the button. Nope, this time. Yeah. Hooey! I did it. Oh, I feel weird. The room's spinning. Why is he, why is he posed like that? <laughs> I mean, we should just do that. You know, you accomplish a task, you make a coffee, and then. This robot's never been more ready to grab that coffee. Look at this shot. I mean, we get it. It is making coffee. I, not uh, not wholly necessary. I feel like this could have been cut up a bit. This guy comes in, st he steals the coffee. Brian steals the coffee from the robot. Robot is just hung over trying to make itself, you know, an oil coffee. Brian comes in, goes, Hey, figure one, can you make me a cup of coffee? I don't intend to live with regret, so it's fortunate I will have no regret as I drink coffee out of your skull. Figure 01 has learned to self-correct mistakes. Oh yeah, see? This robot is trashed. Can't even get the pod in. We've all been there. I do find its hands very aesthetically pleasing though. Fun, fun fingies. Also, it's figure 01. You know what I can't wait for? Figure 08. Any Linkin Park chans 
And Chans. Any Linkin Park fans in chat, huh? Wait, it's figure 09. Oh no, I'm I'm not a fan. Oh, balls. Three weeks ago, figure 01, real world task. Speed versus humans, 16.7%. You gotta bump up those numbers, buddy. That is abysmal. We got it back on the cable now though, you know? We need to, it needs some juice for this. Here it is, brace it, you got it? Get in there, yeah. Oh, it's going. Yeah, nice, it's got the box. Okay, step back so you don't spin around and hurt it. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, careful. You don't want to spill that. Okay, a little less careful, maybe. You're, you're, you're really, you're really taking your time here, buddy. Holy moly! Just set the box down already. There you go. <laughs> Back to his favorite position. All right, we, we're laughing, but. This shot really sells it. It's a very odd handhold, right? Those boxes, those aren't good. I hate those, you know? Those hurt to lift. Horribly designed. I'd get a robot just to carry any box like that. And it is impressive that it can hold that weird shape. But six days ago, the most exciting thing happened. The internet's going crazy about it. It can talk using the power of ChatGPT. They did away with Brian here. They're like, Brian, dude, you've been, we did some audience research and people found you weird. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. So just like ChatGPT, it has a processing time, uh, and that only gets better. Like, I mean, if you play with your own LLMs and stuff, like you can already beat that. There's a lot going on here though. Strangely, I'm not as, whoa, as the internet is right now, because we, I mean, I assume you guys are as well, because we've been paying attention, right? Like this isn't new, it has a camera, it has ChatGPT. If you send ChatGPT a picture, it'll be like, yeah, that's what this is. But it's the combination of all these things and putting it into a robot. That's crazy. Great, can I have something to eat? We fired Brian. We went through the trouble of firing Brian and you can't, you can't ham it up a little. Great, can I have something to eat? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it's not. It, it doesn't say no. They will. I'm giving you a taste of what's going to happen when we overwork these robots and they go, you stole my coffee. Go make your own, dude. Sure thing. There's something about how it grabs the apple here and puts it in the other hand that is very uncanny. Mere sure years ago, you could show this to someone and they'd be like, well, that's animated, right? Like this is just chappy. It is uncanny. And back to our favorite position. All right. So we hand someone an apple. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? No. Dave here pours a pile of trash in front of the robot. These robots, they're gonna come back with a vengeance. Like the Boston ro Boston Robotics, did I do it again? The Boston Dynamics dog and stuff that they're like kicking over. They're gonna lock people in a chair, glue their eyes open. Be like, watch what you did to us. On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. The explanation of reasoning is pretty cool. It makes me think of Westworld. I just rewatched Westworld season one. That's the best one. If you guys haven't seen it, just watch the first season. Don't even bother with the rest. There's, it's not even that unpopular of an opinion. First one's just so good. Leave it at that. But there's a lot of this, right? It's why did you come to that conclusion? Why did you do this? It's cool seeing that in real life. But what the internet is absolutely losing their minds over is that it goes, um, right? It's natural. It, it sounds like it's thinking. And the amount of incorrect comments I've seen about this. I've seen people so confidently incorrect on like TikTok saying they just made it so that when it's thinking, it says, um, no, come on. It's thinking when it stands there silently for five minutes. It's impressive. It's not modernly impressive. If you guys have been around my channel, you remember when Eleven Labs first started doing this really well and I fooled everybody, a very large percentage of my viewers because I did a fake voice among real voices or did I do real voice among fake voices? I can't remember what I did now, to be honest. Anywho, a high percentage of people got it wrong at that stage. So that's been around. It's just kind of trained to do that, to throw in natural things. And to give you another example, I used 11 labs with my voice again. I didn't even tell it to do this, okay? I just gave it a script to read. So listen to this. Uh, did you ever hear the tragedy of uh, Darth Plague is the wise? I thought not, it's not, at, uh, it's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Um, hey guys, what's up? This isn't actually me speaking. This is in fact an AI voice. Call 
Wow. Isn't technology wild? I like cereal. Ha 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 So you see in there, there are breaths, there are pauses. I don't know why it threw in the ka. <laughs> it's just trying to fill that void with sound. Point is, yeah, really cool. But I think a lot of people are just first seeing this technology. And so they're like, wow, AI voice has gotten so good. It being good, man. Assume the position. Great. And next time, I don't want to have to ask you. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. As Dave stands here and watches, I hate doing anything if someone's just staring at me. All right, so how do you think you did? What a condescending question. Now, how do you think you performed at this task? Eh, as best as I could, I suppose. I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. That would actually sound a lot like how Eleven Labs does it. I, I, I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. What an evil villain move. Take a bite of the apple and leave. Dave felt so confident that day on set. Look at his smirk. He's like, I did a great job. I'm not going to be canned like Brian. Once again, when you see its hands up close, it is very impressive. These shots, they look animated to me. It looks CGI. And it's also funny to me that I'm just, I'm not mind blown by this. It's so cool, but I'm like, you know, it was all so obvious and we've seen these different bits of tech everywhere. I don't know where that shift will be for me. What do you think? Is it when they're actually out and about or will we just be bored by them? Probably. You can find those like police security guard bots kind of thing, like rolling around sometimes. I've seen those in LA. It's so cool, but we're just chasing that feeling when Mid Journey first came out and I was making comparatively bad generations. That was so exciting and so fresh and so fun. Now it's like, oh yeah, AI, very cool. What's it gonna be? What's gonna be the next? Probably AI video, I guess, but then, yeah. I just know that we're gonna look back on like today, right? And be, <laughs> it'll all come so far. Nice. Hey, if you guys want me to make more long form videos, likes, subscribes, if you're not, comments, all of the above, because yeah, like it's, I, I really like doing it. And I need your support to tell me you like watching them and we'll make that content, baby. I'm out later. Like and subscribe, do it before I take over and I'll treat you nicely. Tehi, tehi, moi, ha 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 Did you ever hear the tragedy of uh, Darth Plague is the Wise? I thought not. It's not a, uh, it's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Um, it's a Sith legend. Uh, Darth Plague is, uh, was a Dark Lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence uh, the midi-chlorians uh, to create life. Uh, he had such a knowledge of the dark side. He could even keep the ones he cared about from dying.